keep pulling. Ew! Oh. <laughs> you know how hard it was for me to find a boyfriend taller than me? <laughs> Look at her legs, you just swing. I feel so much better, wow. She already knows my trick about Scarab before the Rocco <laughs> Gonzalez. Previous NXT, so we gotta put everybody over NXT champion, uh, tag team champion, et cetera, et cetera. College basketball player. She's been watching everybody get their next crack tonight. Uh, her and Shannon just put on a hell of a match at Albuquerque Sunday Stunner. Uh, she sold me on her leg injury, which she doesn't have. Yes. Which is pretty good because I have a pretty good eye for injuries. Thank you. So that, that uh, I was I was seeing if she was going to like let it off as she got down the ramp and away and no, it was still there. I, was like, yeah, I kept asking her, I was like, is she faking or no? So good submission as well. That means we did a good job. Yeah. Tonight. So good we match. Did a great job. Good matches were done. So. Uh, she just watched Natty get uh, pulled apart. It was great. It was great. I could rewatch that. <laughs> <laughs> that was the, your entertainment for the evening? Yep. Okay. Um, so again, second generation wrestler, uh, father wrestler as well. So got a couple things going on, shoulder blade. Have you always had the shoulder blade thing? No, this is actually kind of recent, I think. Um, just from, I guess, wrestling in general. Okay. Yeah. So tell me about what you're feeling there. So I. Um, I can lift weights, but like this is usually my dominant arm and now this one's my weaker arm um, And I feel it like right here I've done a few things like acupuncture and cupping and every time she pokes here. I feel it down my bicep um, So I know it's something here. Okay, and it's just really when I'm doing like any kind of Pushing lifting motion. Are you lifting more weights than Shana when you're doing that? No, no. <laughs> Same champ <rat. laughs> The truth is I will tell you the God's honest truth We all three lifted at the same rack me and Rhea both had to add weight when Raquel would have to go out. So that's the truth. I mean, look at these deltoids, so. <laughs> but I'm just as strong as Rhea Ripley. That's right. Okay, there it is. Don't let her fool you. Don't let her fool you. So with the shoulder, you're feeling neck tension on the same side also? Mm -hmm. What else we got going on? A little bit like Low my back. sciatica lower back, yeah. Is that a chronic thing for you? Yes. Yeah, okay, makes sense. Sitting. <laughs> yeah, I can see the, the shoulder rolled forward on that side. You feel it? I do, yeah, and I feel, sometimes I feel lopsided too. Yeah. So if you were there, mm -hmm. most of the time that would feel more comfortable for you? Yes. So if somebody just walked around and held your shoulder back? Yeah, that would be great. Yeah. Uh, I'm $1,000 an hour, so <laughs> <laughs> push to the outside. A little pain there? Yeah, I feel like tight. It's not too pain, it's just like tension. You feel it twitching? Yeah. Like you're not using the right muscles maybe? Yeah. Push in, fine there. That one's fine, yeah. Strong, yeah, just too strong. <laughs> uh, arm out the front like that, and then hold. Well, like, not that much stronger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stronger. <laughs> not that much. But not that much. I admitted she's stronger. We had to put a little bit more yeah. weight on for her, okay? So that one giving out? Mm hmm okay. All right, let's go with the muscles off first. <laughs> oh, boy. So let's go to right there. So let's bring your left ear down towards your left shoulder. Oh, left. <laughs> and then come back to center. And then again to the left. <laughs> It's funny how it translates, Back to right? <laughs> All right, so what was your wrestling story aside from family? Oh. Did you always think you would do it? Did you grow up watching? Was your was your family like super <laughs> into it like Natty's was? No, not so much because, well, my dad, yes, yeah, since he wrestled, we would travel with him on weekends to shows and stuff. Uh -huh. um, and he actually wasn't there for my birth because he went to wrestle. <laughs> oh, well, there it is. But it's fine. It's fine. It's, it's fine. fine. It's totally fine. But he didn't really want me to wrestle because obviously when... Well, he if was if doing it makes it. you feel better, I don't remember my dad being there for my birth either. So <laughs> that's true. I don't remember anything before 18 even. <laughs> so sorry, go ahead. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But he uh, he never really wanted me to do it because it was different for girls back then. You know, he's like, my daughters, no. Bikinis, no. I don't think so. Right. Um, but things changed. And then after college, we had made a bet when I was little. I was like, come on, dad. And he was like, no, you got to graduate. So I graduated college after playing basketball for four years. And then I was like, can hey, you remember that bet? Oh, okay. <laughs> And uh, he was like, okay, you have two years. He would only let me go um, to schools that he knew of and that he could be at and if he trusted the people. Okay. And then one day I just, I heard that WWE was having a tryout. So I went just to like show up and the recruiter kind of like looked at me over the table and he was looked down. He was like, oh, you're not wearing high heels. Okay. She sent me some pictures, you, gave me his tall. card. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, yes. Um, so I got a tryout and then got to NXT as well. And how tall are you really? Six foot. Okay. That's what we said at the show. Cause I was like, wait, they're, they're not elevated. And she yeah. walked by and I was like, you think she's taller than me. <laughs> Thank you to Helix Sleep for sponsoring this video.
So as a neighboropathic chiropractor, I recognize the importance of sleep, especially for neck pain and back pain. Me and Piglet here, we found the best mattress and it's definitely Helix. Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and beddings and conveniently ships them straight to your door. It comes rolled up in a box and is super easy to set up yourself. Every body is different and Helix knows this. That's why you can take the customized sleep quiz that's gonna fit your body based on your size, how your preferences are, whether you like a stiff mattress or a soft mattress, and then you could even get the cooling comforter as well. Based on my results, Helix matched me with the Helix Dusk mattress. Me and my wife are getting the best sleep we've ever had and so are our dogs. I'm a back sleeper, she's a side sleeper, so we kind of worked together on the quiz to figure out which one we liked. That's exactly what the quiz said that we needed. Helix also has satisfaction guaranteed, so if you don't love it, you can ship it back. They give you a 100-day guarantee and a 10-year warranty. So if anything's wrong with it, you can always ship it back. They have financing plans as well. And me and Lais feel very supported by the mattress. You know, our old mattress is pretty worn out. We were really sinking into it. So we wanted something a little more firm. And we were really excited when we heard about Helix. We didn't realize that you could customize a mattress like that online. And so we're super stoked to be partnering with them. And really, more than anything, I'm just stoked to be getting a good night's sleep. I love my Helix, and I think you would too. If you're looking for a new bed, check out Helix. Click on the link below or go to helixsleep.com slash Hightower for up to $200 off your Helix Sleep mattress plus two free pillows. Plus, Helix has a special sale going for the 4th of July. So if you've been thinking about upgrading your mattress, this is a great time to do it. Yeah, six foot. Okay. And what position did you play in basketball? I was, um, well, where I'm from in South Texas, I was a center because I was the tallest girl. And then in my first college, I played at Texas A&M Kingsville. I was a center slash power forward. And then for... Huntsville, Sam Houston State, which is a D1 AA, uh, they moved me to a power forward. Okay. So you developed your athleticism in other sports, essentially. Oh, yeah. I, I played everything, really, that okay. I could get out of school with. Nice. <laughs> and get a free meal, free Whataburger. <laughs> <laughs> so so that's the next question. Whataburger or In-N-Out? Whataburger. Uh -oh. wow. Come on. You're not going to get the Texas girl to say anything else, I don't think. Nope. Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> I laugh when it hurts. I'm sorry. <laughs> so you're a little younger than us. So who who was your inspiration? You watched a lot of wrestling growing up. Yeah, I watched uh, more of like the attitude, like attitude era. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I really liked, of course, Stone Cold, Phil Texan, okay. um, Undertaker, Kane. I thought they were so cool. China, you know, the whole crew. <laughs> yeah, you, you had China at the time, but otherwise it was like. Uh, you know, the handprints on, on Sable. And yeah. It was definitely a different era for women's wrestling. But I love China and Beth Phoenix, and I think it's because I related to them as the more bigger females of the roster. Right. So for me, I just, I've always been bigger than everyone my age, so I just felt like I, I could really relate to them. Okay. So you don't fit on, uh, on planes either? No, not too good. <laughs> yeah, but it Sometimes it's okay. What's funny is because, like, a lot of people... You know, some, some heights are exaggerated a little bit and they definitely used to be more, but like people just assume that everybody's heights are like really exaggerated. Like, no. <laughs> like we've had some of the guys from the 90s on. Um, we had Nash and DDP and those guys were towers, yeah. man. Yeah. Is yeah. Even so after tall. all that, all the discs smashing yeah. and... Yeah. It's funny we were talking about, you were, you were talking about the, um, the slowing down of, of sparring, like in wrestling, the backing off of chair shots. And yeah. Yeah. Same, same. You're like, same yeah, you know, stuff. there's some brain stuff. There's like um, this funny thing that like, I'll notice because we're around each other, you know, we're on the road five days a week, so like we're around each other all the time. Mm -hmm. So you kind of forget, like, these big dudes become normal size in your brain because you're just around them. <laughs> right, so you, you see everybody else, like, we got all these little people yeah. around. You forget that, like, in life, that's not a thing. It's and like you said, you're from South Texas, you know, people are obviously shorter a little bit get, down there. So. Yeah. <laughs> Gods amongst men. Exactly. You know how hard it was for me to find a boyfriend taller than me? How hard? I had like my senior year in high school <laughs> was my first boyfriend. Makes sense. <laughs> like, Is that what's, like a requirement city? for you? No, but I think at the time I was just like, I don't know. I wasn't, I wasn't really ready to date. My sister's like, he's taller than you, he's cute, just do it. <laughs> of course, my sister's like the worst for peer pressure. <laughs> I mean, worse than them talking you into this? Uh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> shrug that shoulder, and drop it back down, and shrug up, and down, and up. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Crunch, 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 crunch. <laughs> let it out, let it out. The tickle and hurt? Yeah. <laughs> Look at her legs even swinging. <laughs> move it, move it, move it. You got this.
<laughs> it tickles. It hurts too, but it tickles. You got this. You got this. <laughs> <laughs> there it goes. It's almost faded. <laughs> okay, the, the blackmail video. Oh man, my 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 abs hurt. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna have you go on that table. I have to go crossbody on this one. So crossbody. The, the ribs there. Yep. All right. Are we catching? I'm just kidding. This one's gonna. <laughs> She's gonna elbow my shit out of my ribs on this one. Oh, that <laughs> one. I gotta like. Mentally prepare. This one has to go all the way under like that. And then back across. Oh! Do you have to get adjusted too? Because the, the stuff like that? Yeah. That was right. The sternum elbow. Yeah, yeah. Elbow I'm sorry. But I had to, there's no way to get it. That's why I was like. Getting prepared for it. I was yeah, like, I don't know who's gonna hurt more. Like they were going in the ring. I was like, which who's this gonna hurt more? Thank Look. you for putting your body on the line for yeah, me. That's what we do around right here. Oh. Well, you guys have been watching. You saw me take a leg kick from John Jones. <laughs> took a leg kick from Holly Holm. Took a leg kick from Michelle Watterson. Took a judo throw from Hector Lombard. Oh yeah, I've trained with Hector. I don't know what's next. Miro put me in an accolade. That actually was painful. <laughs> yeah. like, if you think the wrestling submissions, they're not a joke, man. And it's worse when you're tired. You just oh, rest yeah. for 30 minutes and you're tired. Like my back was definitely jacked up yeah. after that. And he gave me a little extra sauce, I feel like, after the session. Mm. It's called a receipt. That, that's... <laughs> There's the lingo. It is a receipt. Oh. Uh, you're not supposed to put it on me. I'm a good guy. Ish. Ish. I'm like uh, the Sour Patch Kids, right? Sometimes sweet, sometimes sour. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. First, first you're sour. Yeah, then you're then sweet. You're sweet. It's a love hate relationship. <sighs> you have a deep tissue therapist. Yep. Yeah, so high on the left over here. That's locked. Right's not too bad. <sighs> a little better. bit there. That's. Yeah, you're compensating the opposite side for that shoulder. That's. <laughs> we'll clear that spot out first. <laughs> All right, so tell me a little bit about your time in, in WWE NXT. Like, who who have you really enjoyed working with? Um, Definitely Shayna Baszler. <laughs> who do you have the most heat with? Oh, uh, most heat. Uh, Shayna. Definitely. Yes, Shayna definitely Baszler. Shayna Baszler. Definitely Shayna Baszler. It's a love hate again. It is. She's a sour patch kid. You know. That one. I can see that. <laughs> I can see that. My yeah. love language is inflicting pain, so... You know? You're like, you don't really care about me unless you hurt me a little. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so I think she cares about me. Okay. <laughs> she carries you sometimes. You carry her sometimes. Yeah. Oh, it's been good. I liked... Uh, NXT was a challenge for me. I was there for about five years just because... I don't know. It was, it was just going with all the different coaches and trying to find my niche and... Um, trying to become like a heel and, and be able to do both and it was just a lot of learning for me while I was there mm. and finally getting my debut with Dakota was amazing she was an amazing mentor amazing friend it was the best thing that could have happened to me all right we're gonna put the stoppage right there drop your right shoulder oh mm. man that felt it right there right in the spot yeah <laughs> Good there. So you say man? This one's oh man. <laughs> 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 oh, I don't know what it is. Cracking bones and needles, they just make me laugh. You know? Make a lot of Poking sense. muscles too. Poking muscles. <laughs> so you speak Spanish then, yeah? Yes. Yeah, everybody in the valley speaks Spanish. <laughs> you kind of have to. I graduated from Hidalgo too, and like half of our graduating class was they were all from Mexico. They just cross over every day. Mm. Oh. Yes, yeah, so you had to change your uh, your finishing move, yeah. Uh, just the name of it, yeah. That's what I've said. Uh, well, when I was, first uh, named it Chingona, I asked everyone. Like I asked Raúl Mendoza, who's from like, Veracruz. Right? Yeah, 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 like I asked the guys, I asked the team. They were like, yeah, it just means badass. But you know, Chinga and Chingona very similar. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I get it. It's fine. But they called it. But the, that's, a, that's a great name. Yeah. Huh. I liked it. She was like, I what? I loved it. I loved it. Now it's the Tejana bomb. Right. It's still pretty good. 
So that's like a, an ethnic enclave. Mm -hmm. Tejanos are, are the descendants of Spanish settlers that yes. aren't necessarily associated with Mexican heritage. Yeah, but it's, it's a very similar culture, though, too, especially right. with North Mexico. The music we listen to, the style, um, it's, it's all very similar. Because there's a subset of northern New Mexicans that have a very similar story. Mm -hmm. They're Nuevo Mexicanos is, is the basic name for it, but yes. they sort of don't associate with Mexican culture in the same way. They try to separate themselves. Yeah, yeah, it's um, definitely... Even though, of course, it's like, <laughs> well, you know, our tortillas are flour. Like, oh, yes, so unique. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> she, was a a little, she was a little... She was a little... Because she's Confused. she's Panamanian, so oh. she came here like you guys are all Mexican, and people would get offended. They're like, no, no, I'm Spanish. I'm yeah, like, no, <laughs> I, mean, I don't take it. Sort of. Yeah, I don't take it in any offense anyway, because I've been. Well, you guys are like still to this day so close. So like, if you're in like Española or Santa Fe, like people would be like, mm. yep. So people actually get offended. Yeah. Um, and I think, I think if you get into like. Uh, the San Antonio area, there's some folks that still feel that way. Yeah, there's definitely a strong, and you know, like it was in basketball too. I remember because we were so close from the border and teams knew that they would call us Spicks and they would call us Beaners and they would say like the meanest things and like go back to Mexico. And it's like, we're from Texas, you know yeah. that, right? Yeah, we're American. Uh... <laughs> exactly. So like, I, I can definitely see that yep. being a thing too with our, in, with different, you know, cultures and stuff like that. We had some of that too. And San Antonio has such a strong Hispanic culture. I guess that's why they're so proud of it too. And right. So like, you know, I played for New Mexico and then we would play like Texas Tech or, or schools like that and then there might be tortillas thrown. Yeah. <laughs> but then even, oh. even locally around here, I went to a wider school. And so our school actually threw tortillas at another school. So there's always these weird like, yeah, exactly. It's, it's And then they threw batteries. And so, you know, yeah, things oh sometimes escalate. They break all your windows oh. out in the wintertime when you're coming back on a basketball trip. So you get to drive in the cold. Oh, Good old school rivalry. Oh, school rivalry. So healthy. <laughs> so healthy. I'm glad everybody worked that out. I'm glad we all worked it out. <laughs> we were all able to grow up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well. <laughs> a little bit. Most of us. <laughs> yeah. Now we just all hurt each other for a living. Exactly. We let our anger out in a different in way. In different ways, exactly. Oh. Go on your side facing that way for me. Oh, oh. you got a hefty guy. Oh, no. <laughs> all up in the pits. Oh. Dang it. <laughs> this. <laughs> you totally got this. I don't know why I'm whispering. <laughs> I'm like the president right now. Why is he whispering? Why is he whispering? Oh. <sighs> Sir, you're on TV, I know. Yeah. <laughs> why are you whispering? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh man. Is this fun for you? Me? Yeah. Yeah, making people feel better is definitely <laughs> something that I enjoy in this fun room. <laughs> but like torturing them at the same time? Oh, no, no. Do you yeah. ever let your That's anger just... out on, on your clients? <laughs> on my what? <laughs> on your clients. I don't have anger. Oh. Uh, how's that? I, I don't know. <laughs> What's that like? Pretty What's mellow like? person. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Pretty mellow? <laughs> Babe, I'm angry? No. <laughs> just mellow. It's the nihilism when you realize like nothing matters. There's like not any pressure <laughs> on anything. So you're like, oh, well, we just float through the day, and you're like, well, there's no pressure because nothing matters. So he's mastered it. You know, you're like what's the worst that could happen? That's very true. You can only worry about what you can control. Yeah. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, I sucked at this. Oh no. Okay. Well. Well. <laughs> I can't suck at it again at the same time. Like okay. Back at it. Back at it. Or not. Either way. Yeah. Whatever. Decision's yours. <laughs> That's like Shana's yeah, comment. Yeah, if, if I get fired, then I'm not back at it, but I'll do something else. It's fine. It's fine. I wasn't doing this before, so I was fine then. Fine then. Yeah, it's fine then. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good in the hood. What a great positive mindset. It's something. <laughs> Maybe it's positive. It I don't know. It depends on how you look yeah, at it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It is positive. It's also a bit futile, isn't it? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> a little dark. I guess it's e maybe easier. Is there a depth to nihilism though? That, that I'm it's not that like stoicism oh. is all just like don't show emotion. Sure. 
Maybe I have to study up on some violin. Yeah, maybe yeah, I do too, actually. <sighs> maybe I'm just going around the Big Lebowski version. <laughs> <laughs> we believe in nothing, Zabowski. We believe in nothing. <laughs> nothing. What you want about the tenets of socialism, dude? But at least it's a it's a, eth a, a ethos. Don't fear these men, Donnie. They're nihilists. They believe in nothing. Dude, you're out of your element. <sighs> now I'm gonna watch that movie. <laughs> <laughs> Ew! <laughs> Whoa! Didn't start with the laughter that time. That was something. Started with the grunt. <laughs> Came in the bridge. That's like a laugh track laugh. Like you just totally put this over like, oh yeah. no no no! <laughs> 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 Push out again. How's that? <laughs> really a lot better. Oh my gosh. It's insane. It's crazy, right? It's yeah. Good. Palm up. Oh. Just like giving me five. <laughs> yeah, pretty solid. I'm laughing too. Like, yeah. <laughs> and I, I don't feel anything here now. You don't feel that strain in the front? Mm -mm. Good. Ah, I still gotta get that rib though. That so rib? this hand's gonna go up and down. Okay. I'll hook right in there. <laughs> So there was a house show. Was it Bobby that went through the ropes? Yeah, yeah. You guys ever get worried? And, oh, no, it was Drew. It was Drew, that's right. Oh. You ever just get worried in these small towns that everything got set up like... <laughs> no, because we have a traveling crew that does Okay. It, so that's not, that's not the norm. <sighs> and strangely, the way we hit the ropes, we train for... Falling so like, like that. The <sighs> instinct, how we hit the ropes, even how we hit if the rope breaks like that, we, we're trained in such a way that it... There's a certain amount to even fall okay. from there. I mean, that's not to say it's not dangerous. Right. Yeah. Because I feel like I would, after seeing that, I would get like paranoid and I'm like, I don't know, man. I don't know if I trust these ropes. Maybe a moment. A little more? I can't move. Now you're real stuck. I'm so stuck at some time. <laughs> I can't <laughs> move. You better stop laughing. You gotta have a loose neck. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing great. She definitely got her laps in for the evening, huh? She's like, we didn't need to go to a stand-up comedy show in Albuquerque because I got all the laps out. I gotta sit here. This is for Natty, so she can feel the... Just hold the peace sign. Fight down. <laughs> Stop working my towel removal technique. <laughs> Raquel, you still with us? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let it out. <laughs> Let it out. <laughs> Tremendous reaction. Ten out of ten. That's a five star reaction. That's, a, that's your outcome. <laughs> <Talk about, talk laughs> <outside. laughs> Okay, 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 no. okay, okay, I got this. I got this. <laughs> I'm crying again. See, I was the downer. The right? <laughs> she no sold the shit out of me. Heat. <laughs> <sighs> Heat. Alright, let's what go. A what a life. What a life. <laughs> on the road. On the road. Hotels, getting towels <sighs> I feel so much better. Wow. Like, I feel like I'm already sitting up straighter. Yeah. You felt that decompression go down? Mm hmm. Yeah. And, like, all. All the way to the lower back. That it too. was yeah, yeah. tight. It's not tight anymore. Yeah. That's what I was saying about the pins. It really helps yeah. to go back. And now, my, like, I feel really like all the laughing is just released from me. Feel <laughs> like you breathe better? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I really do. What's this tattoo for? Just for fun. <laughs> Pull back. Pull that elbow. Good. Oh, that popped. Yeah, that one needed a. That felt good. Let's check the side too. Really good. And, and pull back. Yeah, that one's solid. Yeah. It's just the right side that needed it. Yeah. Okay, let's go here again and push out. Nice. That was solid. Yes. Okay, palm out again. So they're still gonna give me five. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Much better there. Yeah. And then just better. go and move that around. Oh yeah. <sighs> That feels nice to move. <laughs> yeah, it looks so much. It's like, that's what it's supposed to do. 
Thank you. You're welcome. I'm not quite done with you yet. Oh. But <laughs> she's like, oh. She's gonna do construction on you now. <laughs> Pull that shoulder back. Like you're doing a row. Keep pulling. Keep pulling. Good. Uh. <laughs> Oh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. Total play moves. Yeah. That's cool. So it takes her right for a nap. Uh, yeah. You, you can see it in the nap. eyes. She's like, okay, I'm Because I was crying. I'm drunk now. <laughs> I was crying and I'm drunk off laughter. <laughs> we call this myofascial drunk, too. Like, when I get neck work on or whatever, I'm just like, Because you're just, you're not used to like, not having the tension there. Mm -hmm. It's a weird limbo feeling. Really? So hopefully you guys will, alarms will actually wake you up. If, Mine said two. Ah, that one needs to go. <laughs> you gonna fight me? Look, look fight to the left. Oh, whoa! <laughs> like you're right, one, not, one really needed to move. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's fine. <laughs> it's just tight. Tight fists? The nail lady's getting mad at me, too. Do they have a hammer also? No, but they just tell me, relax. Oh, like fingernails. Yeah, the fingernail gotcha. ladies. Sorry, the fingernail ladies. Back up. The the nail ladies. He fixes some ladies with the nails. With nails. I mean, hey, listen, I don't know what you guys... Ow. No judgments, man. This is for making tortillas. No, I'm just kidding. But maybe, <laughs> but maybe. Corn or flour? Flour, because you know you got to knead the dough. There we go. Corn is way easier to make. Flour, just so everybody, yeah, everybody knows. Corn is all together as well. No. One more time. Yes, much better. Solid. Stand up, shake it out, see how you feel there. Yeah. Oh man. Low back feel good? I feel like way better, like now, like I should wrestle now. Right. Yeah. I shouldn't have wrestled That's before. I, I right. When I was, <laughs> around, I was like, like, oh, like man, yeah. I could be hitting the ropes like crazy now. Yeah, yeah. that's why I'm like, God, I could lift Shayna up for days. Yeah, Come on, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, feels good. Oh yeah, way better. So make sure you guys go follow them, Instagram, Twitter, you guys TikToking. Yep. Yeah. TikTok. Uh, what's what's your handle? Uh, Raquel WWE. Everything's WWE. Yeah. We appreciate you guys coming in. Show them some love. Uh, they'll probably come into a city near you, so make sure to check. Uh, get some tickets. Go up front. Really can recommend the house shows. Um, super fun. Watching them interact with the crowd was really awesome. It's the first show I've ever actually been to, um, and we had a great time. So go show them some love. Follow them on social media. It's awesome. Bye. <laughs>